Don Bosco once said, Idleness is the workshop of the devil. Hello Buscoyans and welcome to Automec. Today, we'll be talking about the origin of the 6S methodology which is the 5S methodology, the core of the production technique of most industry as of today. Normally, whenever we are working, may it be at school or at home, there are instances wherein the tools that we are using are scattered around the workplace. Chances are, if we need to use a particular tool, we still have to look for them which actually results to waste in time. And waste in time means waste in production. The assembly line of production was introduced way back early 1900s by Henry Ford during the production of his mass-produced Ford Model T. However, despite the assembly line being modeled by most industries during that time, Toyota, under the supervision of A.G. Toyoda and Taichi Ono, reinvented the assembly line as they see that there are a lot of waste being produced during the manufacturing and production process. Hence, the 5S methodology was implemented which led to increase in productivity. The original 5S methodology is formed in Japanese language. However, it also has a direct translation to the English language. Seiri means sort, Satan, which means set in order, Seiso, which means shine, Seiketsu means standardize, and Shitsuke, which means sustain. First is sort which simply means to categorize or put into a certain place according to type or use. One way of sorting in a toolbox is by separating the screwdrivers, pliers, wrenches, and even measuring tools like steel rule or stri square as they all have different purpose and use. The second S of the 5S methodology would be set in order, which means to organize or arrange according to size. Just like in screwdrivers, from stubby size to long neck screwdrivers, arranging or setting the tools in proper order will help you find or look for them on your next use. Third S would be shine. It simply means to clean not only the tools being used but also the workplace that we are working in. Maintaining a clean workplace results to more productivity. Decluttering the workplace will help you look for the tools and materials much faster when you needed them during your work. At our automatic shop, we require our students to clean the workplace every after use. The fourth S would be standardize, setting standards that will be followed consistently throughout the workplace. A good practice should always be followed not only by a single group or individual, Rather, it should be practiced by everyone. Simply, we can say that consistency is the key to standardization. The last S in the 5S methodology is sustain, which means maintaining and improving the current standards. Probably the hardest part of the 5S methodology, primarily because maintaining and improving a good standard that's been set already requires a lot of discipline. A good practice doesn't end at the end of the day, Rather, a good practice should be followed every single day. As generations pass by, the 5S methodology was further improved into the 6S methodology. Adding safety to the original 5S, a safety is an important element that is consistently being practiced throughout each S of the methodology. The 6S methodology may be hard to follow at the beginning. However, once established and practiced every day, it becomes a normal routine that unconsciously leads to discipline. Implementing and practicing the 6S methodology would make each and every one busy and productive. Keeping ourselves busy all the time would eliminate idleness which is the workshop 
of the devil.